All right, welcome back. So in my recent video on safety gear, I talked about how a crash can happen at any time, especially when you are least expecting it. And you don't have to be flying along at downhill speeds to do some serious damage. Well, today was my turn again. And it happened, as I said, right when I was least expecting it. And by the way, if you're hoping for some great crash video, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but I wasn't wearing a GoPro uh, today. Anyway, I was out on my normal weekend ride, which is about 90 minutes long in the McDowell Mountains, and has a couple of very rocky and chunky descents. And I was finishing up the ride and kind of leaving uh, the Overlook, which is a high point I go up to twice during the ride. So I was leaving the Overlook for the second time, heading back down to home. The trail back down is about two miles of moderate downhill, nothing big. And uh, has, uh, the top sections have these really large sections of solid, jagged rock. I think it might be granite, but I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's, it's a fun ride back, not very steep, and you're just kind of in this, you know, chill, like looking forward to get home mode. Anyway, I'd had a great morning. I started the descent, and as I came uh, roughly to the section you can see here, there was a, a couple walking up the trail in the other direction. So I started to slow down a bit and shifted to the left of the trail onto the rockier sections and in order to give them some space. And as I did this, one of my pedals slammed into the rock, basically a pedal strike, and instantly before I knew it, threw me, you know, right down onto my right side. It happened so fast uh, and suddenly that I have no uh, injuries on my legs, no scratches. Everything is on my, my shoulder and upper body. Um, and that kind of speaks to how quickly it all happened. And I'm pretty sure I just did not have my pedals at equal positions. I was probably focusing on giving the people room and um, left a pedal dangling, and, and there you go. Um, the, the good news is I was fine. Um, you know, there's some bad road rash and bruising on my hips and sides, some pulled muscles. Um, it looks a lot worse than it is. My bike computer tore off and cracked the screen, but if you watch my other videos, you know I'm not going to be terribly sad about that. And of course, my Apple Watch thought I was in a car accident. But, you know, kind of going back to the, the top level comment on safety gear, I really think the safety gear helped out here. It was a moderate situation, just heading home on a blue trail and something unexpected happened. Uh, the padded pants helped, you know, the, the damage to my hips which is a it's just a bruise but nothing more beyond that and my elbow pads gave up their life and were torn right through on one of the areas and um, i didn't i don't wear any shoulder pads and it definitely showed as you know my shoulder took you know had some serious uh, cuts and abrasions and you know the muscles up there uh, hurt quite a bit and were pulled pulled pretty good so i'm, I'm happy i don't have a broken collarbone or anything and finally really i'm thankful for the full face helmet because like i said this all happened so fast my feet didn't come out of the pedals my legs n didn't even hit the ground first to kind of stop me i just went right down on my side and when it was all over i was lying there with my face literally next to the rocks and i think you know and i i don't think it hit my head terribly hard i i definitely felt like it it kind of hit the rocks a little but um, you know, we kind of out that without that lower kind of lower face and jaw protection. I don't know what would have happened because um, my jaw was literally r lying right next to the ground uh, at the end of it. And so there you go. Um, I think just another reason to you know be conservative in your safety equipment. It's definitely worth the investment. And as I kind of talked about before, really doesn't get in the way. So now I need to go find myself. A, a fresh pair of elbow pads and heal up for a few days and get back after it. So there you go. That's my uh, fun story for the weekend. Uh, stay safe and have a good time out there.